Hello and welcome to David Dacus Guitars. Today we're going to walk through about the simplest inlay pattern there is out there, which is a dot inlay pattern. So the first thing I've done is find the dots that I'm going to use, and I've found a drill bit that's going to fit the dots nicely. In this case, it's a quarter inch Forstner bit, and there's how the pieces fit together. All right, so in, in preparation for this, the first thing I've done is run one edge along the joiner, which is that edge there, then took the opposite edge along the table saw to make it parallel to the first one. So I got a nice square piece. Then I'm going to take my centering ruler and find the center. I'm going to do a mark at one end to mark at the other end and then just connect the two dots and you've got a center line along the whole length of the board. Those centering rulers are super cool. A great investment if you don't have one. In preparation for drilling these holes, I always like to mark out the fret numbers and circle the number of fret that's getting an inlay. So this is going to be the standard 3, 5, 7, 9, 12, 15, 17, 19, and 21. This is a 22 fret fingerboard. Also a quick note, I am only pre-marking the center points that are off of the center for the holes that are got to be drilled at the 12th fret because our jig, if that uh, center punch is off the drill bit will tend to follow that but our jig is going to set us up on center on the drill press so let's walk over that all right so all we're going to do is simply clamp a straight edge down to the uh, drill press since we've got a nice known straight edge here I know that edge is straight because I ran it on a joiner earlier it was used to make uh, the neck blank I'm about to show you this neck blank that's going to be the neck for this guitar it's a piece of that walnut and I know it's straight because I ran it on the joiner and I checked it with a straight edge. Even though you can see a hump in it, the edge that I'm referencing against is straight. Alright, so simple enough. It's just going to run along the center. I've also found the center points between the frets. Again with my centering ruler. So I've marked along the long center line for the entire fretboard. I've marked the center of each fret that had a circle that's getting an inlay. Now another way to do a fine adjustment here, if you're having trouble getting that in position, another way to do a fine adjustment, you can bring that on down and see where you're at, but remember that the drill press itself can turn left and right, and on that arch you can get dead center on your center line quite precisely. Okay, once you've got set up on center, you can pretty much just go on to drilling. I usually like to just barely touch the fretboard first so that I can see exactly where that point's going to start at, and then I will continue on with the, with the drilling and uh, complete that hole. And I'll just go along the rest of them now. Quick note as well, I'm eyeballing the depth. Uh, that's what I'm about to do in the next step is going to prevent me from setting the pieces of pearl in too deeply or too shallow uh, so I'm just I want to get enough depth there to get the inlay in good but I don't want to go too deep that is below the surface you can set up a depth stop I guess would be a more consistent more accurate way to do it but this works plenty good and here are the completed holes in a straight line you can see as well that all of the holes are drilled in places that have been circled. Again, that's a mistake you don't want to make. It's a really bad feeling and you can't unmake it. Set the dots. I will just use a regular super glue. This is just a store bought super glue you can find almost anywhere. I get kind of a closer close up shot of it in a minute. Uh, but I just fill the hole up first. Make sure that afterwards there is plenty of glue covering the surface. I want to make sure that any air gaps are covered. This uh, drill bit and that inlay fits together extremely nicely, so there's not many gaps at all. But doing it in this way, filling the hole up first and then putting the inlay on top. Now, you, if you're hammering these in or something, be very careful because that super glue can come out of the slot um, pretty rapidly and get like in your eye or something like that. But doing it in this way kind of pushes all the super glue up and out, it kind of in a flow, and it takes any air bubbles out with it. And it will leave you with a really nice, solid uh, adhesion there without any spaces or any air bubbles in it. 
You also notice I'm kind of sliding the dots in from the side. That also helps prevent the air from, from forming, the air bubbles from forming inside the inlay themselves. If you just try to place the dot directly down on top, uh, you're likely to get an air bubble directly underneath the inlay, underneath the piece of pearl, and it will eventually try to bubble out of the side as it's curing a little bit, even if you hit it with accelerator. So sliding it in from the side is another way to help prevent those gaps from forming. You can see as well, just from looking at the kind of puddle of super glue on top, it's uh, completely clear of air bubbles. After this is done, I'm going to hit the entire fretboard with some super glue accelerator or CA glue accelerator. That's just going to help it cure a little bit faster. And even though you do hit it with accelerator, it kind of dries from the inside out. So I did come back and hit this a second time with a little bit of accelerator on each dot and I gave it a few minutes before moving on to the next step. And here, like I say, even with the use of the accelerator here, you do not want half cured super glue to get stuck all up in your file teeth there. It is a serious pain to get out. Uh, so it's best, even if you hit this with accelerator, to give this at least a half an hour or so before you proceed to the step. You can also do this with any grid of sandpaper. I would recommend starting at a rougher grid of sandpaper long as you've got it on some kind of hard backer. If you try to do it just with your finger, it'll never work for you the way you want it to. You need some kind of hard backer to take that high spot down. After this, I'm going to finish up with a orbital sander. I think I've got about 150 grit paper on it. And you'll see me here also just focus the corner of the sander on the dot. And that is going to create a low spot. You cannot do that on an already finished fingerboard. But my next step in this build is going to be leveling the fingerboard and radiusing the fingerboard. And for right now, this fingerboard is completely flat. That's why I'm not. That's why I'm not concerned about that happening. And there it is in completed form. You can see it sanded level pretty well. And those dots are pretty straight. You can kind of see some low spots up in there too if you uh, kind of look for them. Yeah, especially on that third and fifth fret there you can see some lows and a little bit down on the 17th too. But there you have it. Holes in a straight line and a good way to do the simplest dot inlay pattern on a guitar. Thank you all very much for watching, for spending your time watching these videos and subscribe to the channel if you want to see some similar content.